Today we're here talking about Legos. I think Legos are probably in every house in America. They are so fun for girls and for boys. So we get lots of them, don't we? And then what do we do with them? How do we organize them? Where do we keep them? And how do we keep them usable for our children? That's what we're here to talk about today. The first part of this video will be the organization style that we chose to do for our Legos. And then the second part of this video will actually talk about the decluttering process that we went through. We actually didn't get rid of any Legos, but we still did declutter a lot to make this happen. So check it out at the end. First off, my daughter is seriously in love with Legos. She, any minute that she gets free in the middle of the day, she is at her Lego table creating. I love that about Legos. Prior to this organization, we used to keep all of the Legos on top of the Lego table where she was building using them. And then the miscellaneous pieces were all stashed together in one see-through bin. If you use a bin, I do recommend a see-through bin because then you can raise it up over your head and look at the bottom for those teeny tiny pieces you might be searching for. But that was getting a little overwhelming for us because she was getting more and more Legos. And so she wanted it to be a little bit more organized. This was actually her idea to turn one of her dresser drawers into a Lego station. The first thing that we did was dump all of the excess Legos out and sort them by color. We wanted her to be able to have easy access to the colors that she needed or to be able to search for the piece she wanted quickly, but also this allowed us to know what size bins we needed for each color. As you can see, some colors are more prominent than other colors. We needed a giant bin for reds and whites, but not such a big bin for things like purple and orange and yellow and green. I was able to find all of these bins from around my home. We didn't need to go get any bins at all for this uh, organization. Some of these bins came from my kitchen. Some of these bins came from my storage area. This organizational style, sorting by color, has really been effective for my daughter. She has been able to keep this up and organized. And because this is a decluttering channel, I didn't want to leave you hanging about how we did a thorough declutter, even though we didn't get rid of any of these Lego pieces that she so much cherishes and plays with. What we did was we took everything that used to be in this dresser drawer, which was actually lots of miscellaneous tiny little toys that originally when she had a baby sister, she didn't think would be safe for her sister to be around or she didn't want her sister to break them. So she stuck them in this drawer. Now the drawer got kind of heavy. The drawer got kind of full with all these extra little tiny toys and she was kind of ready to let go a lot of them. The key was her priority was Legos. And a lot of times I think parents can use that to your advantage that you can say, okay, I think you would love to have a drawer with Legos. How about we declutter some of these clothes or how about we declutter some of these toys and then we can make a space for the thing that you really love. In this case, it was her idea, which is even better. So we went through all the toys together. She didn't get rid of every single one, but we did get it down to a pretty small size basket of toys. And so that really felt good to me. I know these were not toys that were precious to her. They had mostly been sitting in the drawer for a long time, unnoticed and unused. And so it was nice to get them out of the house. And it was also nice to create a space that I knew she would use and love and keep organized because it was important to her. Any of you that have kids out there, I would love to hear how you organize your Legos. Have you found a system like this that works for you? Do you keep them all in one bin all mingled together? Or have you found a system where you can separate them out? Do they stay separated? I really hope that this inspires you to do a little bit of decluttering and organizing on your own and make your home a little bit more useful and peaceful. I would love for you to join me on this journey. Please check out these other videos that I have created about my house declutter this year and subscribe to my channel.